Hi friends, in this lesson, we are going to be producing a sharp drawings just like this. We will uh, import this title block from AutoCAD and then we'll be able to uh, put our drawing inside the title block just like this. Okay, and so stay tuned. And once again, you are welcome. This is card level 100. If you are still not subscribed to this channel, subscribe, like the lesson. And then let us get started. So I will launch the protest still this one. Select that and click on open. Alright, so in the protest still, now we go to the far right there in the drop down menu. I go to the recent projects and then the first project I will select it is the project we'll be working on. Okay, this is where we stop in the last lesson. All right, so in the last lesson, we are able to cut our sections. Okay, so the sections and uh, uh, the details of these provisions is what we are going to be putting inside of the title block successfully. So having done this for us to now create our shop drawings, okay, we have to navigate to the drawings, these provisions, or you can just do Ctrl D or you double click right there. So it will take you to this page, the drawing manager page, then double click on the drawing manager and you will have this uh, drawing manager's dialog just like this. Okay, so in this dialog, we click on create drawing, this one, and then we will select the paper size to be a three size paper, just like this, and then we give it a name, you can call it any name, I will call it X1, okay, X1, just like this, click on OK. Alright, so that paper is created successfully in this provision, this dark side. So what you just need to do, you click on the close uh, close tab to close this particular dialog. Then select yes option. Select yes option. Just to have it like this, okay? So now uh, we will be uh, importing the title block, okay? From the, we'll be importing title block from AutoCAD right away so if i should navigate to autocad now here is the title block okay so you will save this as a dsf file okay by selecting it and d on the keyboard all right you navigate to the provisions directory where you will save that okay successfully so after which you you just have to minimize that to import it to protest now, what you need to do is you come to the provisions file tab right there in the drop down menu. You see import, import DSF. All right. So in this import uh, DSF option dialog, click in this provision. This will take you to the directory where you can navigate to the file right away. So the file is drawing sheet. This one. Okay. So select that and click on open. And then select import. All right, the file is being imported successfully click on closed so this is the file okay so this is it and uh, you can see this can be edited and you can also write and delete any of these letters that uh, you don't want all right so like this one i can double click on it just like this uh what i suppose i'm there is card level so i will select all of these ones and then backspace that to delete click on the okay to have it in place just like this you can also move it down all right for adjusting it however okay so in this one the same thing double click here uh we are supposed to have it as only shop drawing so you remove the rest of those letters click on okay to have it just like this okay the same thing applicable to this place so this is how you just uh adjust the uh the latest the write-ups okay that is on your that you block once you import it to Prota still Okay, just like this, click on OK. Alright, so after I must have done that, so this is the title block. We'll be putting the drawings inside of this title block. So at first, what we'll be putting here is the section. This one, so you select section, right click, and then click on create view. So this is the section that has been created successfully. So if we move your cursor towards this provision, towards the provision, you can be able to click hold and move it to the inside the set uh, title block and you can, as you can see it is far bigger than the title block okay 
it's bigger than the title block so we are going to be adjusting the scale so it can fit into the title block all right so you just have to double click on the borderline of it just like this and then you have this okay in this provision the the current scale is 70 is one is to uh one is to 70 so we'll be making having a scale of one is to 150 okay so one is to 150 just like this click on apply it and okay all right so after which you can see the drawing has been adjusted and fit into inside the title block so we just have to uh step that okay place your cursor along the line you have your cursor having this sign then drag this and now be able to drag this closed so that you can adjust so as to adjust the border lines just like this after which you move this click on it and move it okay sorry escape that so just select put your cursor on the bottom line and move it like this into the title block just like this so you can as well adjust it like this all right having it like this the next thing is we are going to be doing the dimensioning okay so we'll be using the linear dimension this one select right there and then pick the first point keep picking the point of the grid lens to have your dimension just like this just like this and like this after which just have to double click or right click to insert the dimensions in the vertical directions you are going to use this one all right and then pick this to this to that okay all right so also pick this and you have this dimension right click to insert it just like this okay so the next thing we want to be having the sections under it the section label we need it under this uh, particular drawings right so what we need to do is double click on the borderline of the uh drawings just like this to have this come to label we'll be having the level beneath it is going to be located outside of the borderline of the drawing just like this okay for this scale scale we'll be activating it just like this using the font area okay apply that and click on okay so you have something like this section one scale one is to 150 all right so the next thing is uh, we are going to be creating members so that we can be able to read and understand these members okay the sections of these uh, trust members all right for you to do that come to these provisions click in this drop down menu and then annotation settings profile click right there in this provision you can see the profile name right there okay in case you didn't see profile name in these provisions you will see it here just move it to this place okay after which click on apply and closed then we want to be assigning the name so you just have to select the member i'll select this one and click on this provision and it should be assigned okay this is universal uh, uh, uk uh, columns 203 by 203 by 46 all right so this same column is the same in these provisions all of this place all right so uh, for this process let's check this uh, diagonal sections okay so select that and then click on this it will be labeled okay so you can see it's a square uh, sections hollow section all right likewise to the vertical right there can edit that just like this okay the bottom and the top bar uh, the bottom and the top uh, sections okay this is a beam all right so you just have to select that to get it level can see universal beam okay just like that so this is how you create labeling for all of these uh, uh trust members okay in protest Steve. so the next thing we are going to be doing we are going to be generating the details the details that we made in the previous lesson this one so just click on this provision so once you click on the provision the detail is created already so you can see it here so what you just need to do you just have to select it okay and start to put it inside of this title block put your cursor on the border line just like this click and hold and then drag it into the title block just like this to fix it in like this okay you can make it a little bit smaller so that the provisions for other uh details all right so remove this just like this okay 
do something. So we move this one too. Move this. For this one, you have to also move it. So if it is, you can see the scale of this one is 1 to 25, okay? 1 to 25 scale. You can move it up a little bit and then be able to adjust it successfully. Just like this. Take this up a bit. Alright. So, the same thing you are going to do here. Just like that. And like this. Okay. So you can see here is detail one. So just let the detail and move it also. Under it, this is detail one. Place it elsewhere. Okay. All of these details are under detail one. Alright. This detail here. This one. This one is detail one. So that is it. All right. You can now delete this. Select that. Select delete. Yes, options to get that out. So you see, we have be able to put all our drawings inside of this title block successfully, just like this. Okay. So with this now, you cannot export it, or you can print it from here directly by using the print options. All right. So we will stop here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel as I will bring to you more of these advanced lessons. Stay tuned and see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.